In this video, I'm gonna show you how to log in users with Facebook, Twitter, and Google, and save them into your database. Let's take a look. Sign with Facebook. Continue. You're logged in. Let's refresh our users table. We have name, email, and remember token. If we refresh social providers table, we have user ID, provider ID, and provider. Let's try with Twitter. Authorize. You're logged in. Refresh. We have another row for Twitter. With the same email. Try with Google. You're logged in. Refresh. Finally, we have Google for this user. So let's get started. At first, let's install Laravel. Let's do it very quick. Multi provider. CD our project. Run the Laravel server. Try in browser. Okay. Now we need to do some configuration. Like database name, username, and password. Whenever you change the configuration, you have to clear the config cache. So control C, PHP arson, cache clear. Now we need to migrate these tables. PHP, Artsen, migrate. Refresh. Done. Now let's build our authentication. It's very easy. Just copy this line and Paste it here. That's it. Everything has generated. So let's run Laravel server to see the change. If you don't have Git Bash installed in your machine, like this, you can hold your Shift key and right click here, open command. Maybe you like Windows command. PHP or send serve. As you see, we have login and we have register. From documentation, click on socialites. Here it is. Scroll down to the documentation. Here is how to install it. Just copy and paste this line, like this. When finished, do some configuration. Copy this line. Open config app inside providers. Paste it. The same for facade, copy, scroll down to the alias array and paste it. One more thing in the service, file. Provider credentials. This for GitHub, you can change it to any provider as you like. 
so open service and paste it down here as I mentioned you can change it to any provider to create Facebook application go to this URL developers.facebook.com slash apps if you are absolute beginner you may get something like this so register accept add your phone number they will send you confirmation to your phone number register that's it Now you're a Facebook developer. Switch back to our URL. Create a new app. Type your app name. Test login. And your email. And select a category. Create. Just prove that you are a human. You are now in your apps dashboard. Click on settings. You can change the apps icon. Click on add platform. Select website. Site URL. This is very important. This is your URL for callback. Localhost auth Facebook callback. We ask Facebook for permission, right? He gives us what we've asked it for through this URL. So if you change your domain, you have to change it too. Finally, click on App Review to make your app public. Click on your app. It will show your app ID and app secret. You can show it. Type your password. Now you have Facebook application. Let's add Facebook credentials to service file. Change GitHub to Facebook and your client ID. Your client secret. Finally, your callback URL. To get the callback, click on settings, site URL, be careful, if you change your domain, you have to change it too, okay?